this is the Rode PodMic USB. Today I'll be unboxing this brand new microphone as well as the PSA OnePlus Boom Arm and the NTH 100 all from Rode. Let's get started. Today won't be a video about paint making but about the next step that I will make into my paint making channel. It's a tool that I'll use in the future for a series of videos that I'm planning and writing at the moment and the brand suggested this specific product for me. Usually I don't really buy things without watching tons of reviews and knowing for sure this is going to be it but I saw it was in stock so I guess I'm one of the first who got it. So these are all the tools that I received. I'm especially excited about this microphone, uh, but I can't wait how this sounds and you know how everything looks and feels. Let's get started with this. So as a real paint maker, I'm using a pellet knife as a knife. So let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the newly designed pop filter, which didn't come with the original. It's plastic, almost rubber like here, but the foam is quite thick. So let's see how that works. And this is the actual microphone. Look at this. A black version instead of the original pot mic which has the mesh in silver with the USB a nice cap for the XLR input I think this is the headphone gain level and it looks absolutely wonderful it weighs a ton I've heard this in the original pot mic reviews but it literally weighs a ton but there's something else here let's have a look what is in this little box so this is quite convenient if you don't have one already a very long USB-C to USB-C cable which is really awesome from Rode to include with this microphone. This is the pot mic USB from Rode and it is even better than I hoped it would be. Um, like I showed you they included the pop filter and it just slides on like this and it has the same industrial look because of these plastic lines. It looks and feels very sturdy and it looks so much better than the rounded foam things that you you know can put on the original pod mic um, but this is this is awesome so it's time for the next package let's use this same knife for this boom arm All the components are well obviously quite well branded that's the one downside that I've heard about and you know I know what people are talking about but other than that it looks 
really good and it feels really sturdy, way better than the one I have at the moment. That feels sturdy, that feels professional, this feels awesome. So I've installed my boom arm and it is exactly what I thought it would be. Uh, it is sturdy, it looks amazing, it has the branding on it, um, but you know, for live streams uh, like this, you see the microphone as well. Um, I think it's fine, maybe I can put dirty blue on it. Uh, let's have a look at what we're going to do with that. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I'm actually quite proud to have a quality brand product um, for my videos so you know it's there now let's put the microphone on so the same as with the original pod mic it has two diameters on it um, for a stand or a boom arm or maybe with an adapter even a tripod it has a little adapter here on the boom arm as well um, so I think we can just screw it on there, let's have a look. And this should be it. So I'm going to install the cables and connect everything on my phone since I'm recording everything with my phone. But before we can do that, let's unpack one more package. In case you forgot which package, the headphones from Rode. So Let's use the same trusted pellet knife and let's see what's in here. That feels like a really good headphone with the lovely kind of organic shaped earpieces. It did come with a black cable, but I got a blue cable for free. So I'm going to attach that since it looks just a bit better for my brand. So the nice thing about this cable and the little clip comes with it. It is the same color as I use with my Lavalier microphone, the Lavalier 2 from Rode uh, for my live streams where I'm a little bit more mobile. So I really like this detail. So as soon as I connected it, it gave me a heads up that there's a firmware update already. So let's do that first. So this is the Rode PodMic Pro. It is directly connected to my iPhone. I use my phone for all my content. So this is just a perfect solution for me. The boom arm works perfectly. Um, I have like, I have everything kind of, I can move around, I can show stuff, get stuff, take stuff, move it away. Um, and to be honest, it looks and sounds amazing. I'm really surprised by this um, because I've never tried a microphone like this before. I've uh, shot some content with the uh, Rode uh, Video Mic Go 2, which I recently pur purchased for uh, videos, but I've used it in live streams. But this is just such another level for a different kind of video as well, I have to add. so. I'm really excited uh, with this. I really feel I feel almost professional. Um, I feel professional in what I do as a paint maker, but as a content creator or uh, um, you know making videos, working with a professional microphone, it's just new to me. So this is not a review at all. This is just first impressions. Uh, I think you know looking at YouTube, really the first impressions of this microphone. In use by someone uh, I haven't seen any other videos but um, <laughs> this is my first purchase ever without 
you know, me looking at a review and really uh, uh, looking into it because I really want to make sure if that's the right thing I need, but just the way that this looks and how everything just, you know, felt with the original one from what I've heard. Um, uh, yeah, I'm really glad with the decision I took buying this, these and the boom arm uh, as a set just, you know, to get a kickstart with my new series of videos. Um, I'm not at all sponsored or, or anything else by road. Um, I'm just very lucky to be able to buy their products and I'm really, really enjoying what I'm hearing right now um, because this is such a different sound than that I've had before. Um, so not sponsored at all. I'm just really happy uh, that I can buy the products, but also very happy with the stuff they do. Uh, like I said, I'm connecting it directly into my iPhone. Uh, it needs an adapter for it, but I already had that with the other microphone. So uh, couldn't be more happy. If you have any questions, um, let me know. Uh, this is not a tech channel. Uh, I don't have any experience with microphones uh, whatsoever. I'm just an enthusiast of kind of tech stuff, but also uh, I want to create really high quality content about making paint, about pigments. So hopefully um, you hear the difference as well. Guys, I'll see you next time.